Hello guys, we are back with another video. Yeah, I know it's been like a long time since I made a video. This has been like, you know, basically a bunch of stuff. But I am back and today we're going to be reacting to the Grammy nominations. And we have quite a bit. Um, so I'm probably just going to cover like, you know, the main ones and a select other food I really care about. But um, because it's like a lot of categories, like a lot of categories. So yeah, um, we're just going to get right into it. I'm really, really um, excited. Um, I was bored about like one thing, or I guess one category so far, which is like, you know, album of yourself. But besides that, um, I kind of don't know what's going to come up. And, um, yeah, we're just going to get back into it and see what's up. All right. So the Grammy nomination. Sorry. Let's see. General field. Okay. So we have record of the year. All right. Now and then by the Beatles. Um, I do know they did release that, um, that Beatles album, you know? Yeah, I do know about this and this song, but, um. It's probably not going to be my pick, personally, because I think the bigger, um, singles this year, so record this year. Um, Texas Hold'em by Beyonce, absolutely, um, when it first came out, like, there was so much joy, um, it was really nice. Um, seeing, like, how people react to it online, on TikTok, and, like, you know, everywhere, of people, like, the line dancing, like, you know, and being joyful, and, like, you know, and whatnot, like, it was really, really good to see, um, Texas Hold'em do that, do that much of an impact in the beginning of the year before the um, actual album came out. Um, yeah, because, what was it, it was Texas Hold'em and 16 Carriers, I believe, after the, um, Super Bowl, like, commercial she had for, like, Verizon, and it's a really solid song. Um, it's first of another massive mega hit. Um, I don't really listen to Superior that much, I will say, but I do know this song is massive, so it has potential. 360 by Charlie XCX makes you really, really, really excited. Um, like I said, it was, like, everywhere. Um, the whole brat, um, like, movement and like you know impact is like insane like oh my god i'm so happy for her and this is a good song it makes sense but but her feather really really nice song for billy i listen to i'm not one of my favorites you know from her really but um i do understand why it's here i'm kind of um like warm on this but like you know it's still like a nice song not like us is probably um it might actually win this actually because not like us was like a massive splash you know, even like outside of the Jake and I can't think like it's just such like, you know, good, like, you know, great song. The airs like a like a lot of things out. <laughs> and I hope the music video I hope it's on me for best music video too because it really deserves it. Tap of own, what an amazing year that she has had. It makes completely it makes complete sense why she's here and good luck baby is probably easily the song choice. Fortnite by Taylor Swift plus Malone, probably my least favorite out of all these like sure it's massive and like you know all the swifties and extreme to hell of it i'm sure but it's not my first choice out of this it'd be texas hold'em for my top choice 360 and not like us and maybe good luck babe also album of the year so this is the one i got spoiled on i will say and i do have at least two different choices right here and i will talk about like a snub um new blue song by andre 3000 love uncle so much Love him a lot, and I actually did defend him against the people when he did drop this flute like only album is really nice and it's really calming and peaceful. But album of the year, I will say no, and it's okay that that's a no. Like not this year, you are legendary, and I and we do love you. But against everything else, probably not. Maybe if you definitely if you would have released like a traditional like rap album and like came out with something like crazy, I can definitely see it. But for this. Even though I did defend it, I can see, you know, probably not. Kyper Carter, yes. It did so much for um, Black Country artists. It did so much for Beyonce herself. Um, I like the whole message behind it about it like, being like a thing because of, you know, the um, Sim A's, I believe, you know, completely shut her out doing like Lemonade and like, you know, the daddy lessons, you know, performs at the Dixie Chicks, which is iconic. I like the whole message about this um, album, and it's really um, relevant now considering like, you know, the election results and whatnot, you know, her talking like America and like, you know, how much she still like, you know, black people and like, you know, country artists, you know, because, you know, black people, you know, we made country, just so you know, so, <laughs> um, if you did not know, you do know now, and um, yeah, it's very significant, um, you know, like people like Shibuzi and like, you know, the other like, um, she had on because they were on the album and they got like, a huge boost in sales and it's busy like you know for, for you know the tipsy song the boss song like he's like blown up and he has like the number one he had like the number one single world for like multiple weeks which is like crazy so like you know 
yeah, stuff like that. Like, you know, this is this has like a lot of influence and like it helped like a lot of like, you know, country artists, you know, like people, everything on the sun. Short and sweet. Did not listen to the album. I'm sure she's talented, but um not gonna be on my choice. That's because A I didn't listen to it and for the singles that I did listen to it, they're you know, they're nice. And they're nice, you know, good radio friendly, you know, pop songs, but like, you know, album of the year probably not. But is my second choice. Besides cop I mean I I think well actually hold up. But I actually think it might be my first choice. And this might be the first year as me as a Beyonce fan, I will say, that um it probably I I would be even with what I said about Captain Carter, I might be okay if Brad would win over it. But that's the only thing that I probably that I would probably be happy that everyone's over. Just because Brad was so massive and impactful for this year. It was even part of like the um, election, like, you know, race with like Kamala and stuff, like the Kamala's Brad stuff. And like, you know, it was just like everywhere people had done pop Brad parties before the album came out and whatnot. I mean, I mean, after the album came out and whatnot. And like, you know, she just took over the year like in the remix album, like, you know, the deluxe album, like people say it was Brad Summer, but like it's also to be honest, it was Brad Fall. It's gonna be Brad Winter, like, you know, it just took over the whole world. And like it's so amazing that Charlie was able to do this. As you know, this coming from like, you know, she was in the mainstream for a while, but um, you know, she went she died down a bit, you know, and didn't like what she was doing. So she just became this Hyper pop artist out of like nowhere <laughs> before we even knew what hyper was and what she was doing stuff like Sophie and like AG Cook and whatnot. And like, you know, they've kind of paved the way for like, you know, a lot of the artists that are coming out now that's making hyper pop or even stuff like, you know, even Jason to it, like, you know, like a Two Hollers or like a Janeway Mover or like, you know, uh, Unscores or, like, you know, any like person you can think of that's a part of like, you know, that um community kind of owes something in a sense to like, you know, Charlie Sophie and like, you know, a lot of people are like that were like a part of this, like, you know. PC music, like, you know, help define, like, what we know as, you know, how pop is today. Like, you know, it's influencing other music genres and cultures and, like, a lot of the artists. Like, without them, like, it's, like, it's, the impact is, like, insane. So, it almost goes be, like, beyond Pratt itself, almost, you know, what Charlie was really doing. And the thing is, Charlie made a solid album before this. It's called Crash. She made the pop album. She made the, um, mainstream Bigger Pills thing on purpose. And, and it did not garner this much noise. But for Brad, well, like, she really, Brad, she was really not expecting anything. And it's still, it's still, I performed Crash. And I performed all albums by, like, a large margin. And it was, and it had so much impact. Like, it, what, it is album of the year, in my opinion. For once, as a Beyonce fan, I think I would understand, really. Not a lot of other you know, in a fan base would agree with that, but for me, I can see it, for sure. So for Ron, Rise of All Mid Princess, you had a massive year, but I want the year probably no. Song of the Year for Good Luck Baby, yes. And Brand New Artist, which I'm sure she's a part of, before I even look at it, like I know she's in there, like yes. But um, I want the year probably not. Like, you did have a massive year, and you do just have everything that, you, you know, you worked for, and, like, you know, the stuff with the fans and, like, people being parasocial, like, I stand by you 100% and whatnot, and I do think, like, people need to, like, you know, leave her, like, alone and respect boundaries. Now, you know, regarding the album, probably not. You're just starting out, you know, you're going to make amazing music for, like, a long, long time. Like, you have so much potential, and I believe... For this year, no, but in a possible year, will you make something even better than this? Like, you knock our socks off 100%. I can see you winning half of the year at one point, but probably for not this year. And, terrible, and, ter and for Terrorist on Total Post Department, no. Just, you know, no. Like, even someone like Cocker Swifties even agreed that I should not even win out of this year. And, like, you know. Um, song of the Year. Bard Song by Tipsy. Like, say, man, when I was, when I was mentioning Beyonce, you know, and she be on the album, like, you know, thanks to her, like, you know, a lot of country artists are, like, now talking to charts, well, specifically black country artists, too, are talking, like, the charts, and in such an amazing and beautiful way, and such, like, you know, it's so poetic, you know, because, like I said, black people, we made, we made country, so, honestly, he had the number one song for, like, such a long time, for consecutive weeks, I would not mind at all. I, well, oh yeah, and I did not say, if it's not obvious before, um, Cabby Carter and Fat for Album of the Year, those are my two choices, but, um, going back to this, um, Song of the Year, Ball Song Tipsy, 100%, But a Feather, no, probably not for this, that was Smile is a massive hit, and it just came out not too long ago, 
you know, Gaga being on top of the wolf, like, you know, the, um, well, the, the Joker movie, too, got, like, a lot of mixed reception, but, um, if it means I think she still was one of the best parts about that movie, and, um, still did a great performance-wise along, along with, um, Jackie Phoenix. But, um, yeah, I've gotten a song with Bruno Mars, like, it's okay, like, I wouldn't be mad if I take it. Fortnite? Probably not. No, 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 probably not. Good luck, babe. Again, I would understand for this. Like, this is a kind of I can actually understand her, um, taking, um, chapel. Not like us. So I'm not the summer for that, but probably like, you know, these like guys of the year. Like, one single created so much buzz. Rap fans, pop fans, or whoever fan of whatever genre you are, a fan of, like, you know, everyone paid attention to that moment like it was crazy. Please, please, please. Oh, oh, yeah. Please, please, please. Probably not. Once again, really nice, you know, this as well pop song. It's catchy, but, you know, probably not my first pick. And Texas Hold'em, I would not be mad about this either, because, like I said, a lot of, you know, a lot of like, joy and, like, you know, significance came out of that first thing, like, alone, before even, like, the album came out. And, by the way, this year is, like, packed, by the way. Like, a lot of people dropped this year, which was, like, insane. So, like, this year is going to be, like, tough for, like, a lot of people. Um, but out of this, a ball song could do it. Dive with Smile could do it for me. Good Luck Baby, Good Luck Babe can definitely do it. Not, good, not Like Us could definitely do it, and I wouldn't be surprised if it wins. And Texas Hold'em can do it. So, yeah, that's my, um, picks for those. Best New Artists. Okay, so there's a lot of people that I don't know in this, so, um, please forgive me. There's a ton of people do, that I do not know at all. Um, Benson Boone, don't know who you Um, Sabrina Carpenter. I can see this for her too. This specifically, you know, with how popular and how much she blew up this year, I can definitely see it for this for Best New Artist. Dolce, I would love if Dolce were to win um, her, her obvious album, The um, Alligator Black Project. Really, really good. And um, I loved her feature on, you know, Chromacopia with her, you know, Tyler the Creator on Balloon. Um, she used to have like a massive year, especially since she's been a part of TV. Um, really nice. Um, Ko, uh, Ben? Ka, Ruga Ben? Ka Ben? Again, I don't, I don't know if I pronounced that right. Please come correct me in the comments. But, um, once again, I don't know you, unfortunately. So, I can't really speak. Ray, I do know that name. And she has been having a big year herself. But I just, I just happen to have um, a chance to get into her, unfortunately. Tap alone. Can definitely take it easily. Should be can definitely take it. I have heard taste from him too, but I haven't really gotten to him. So my favorite from this is probably um Dolce. Um, I actually can see Sabrina for this. Um, maybe Ray, even because I did hear a lot about her being master this year. Shabalone for sure. Should be easy, yeah. And you know, similar with to um, Ray, to just swim a lot about also. Once again, not really um familiar with that um that this name or this producer. I do remember that like Connie. As like a song, you know, I heard this year. Um, anything else is kind of like a bail between me. Um, Dernest, The Smile. I go like a lucky day. Bar song. Cool. That was Smile. Okay, cool. Love you. One's power two. So was Acolyte. Interesting. Betrayal Monet was on that. I did not know that. That's you. Um, interesting songs in here. I would say, for them. And Ian Pitchchuk, I mean Beyonce, cool, cool. Don't forget, Maggie Rogers, and I mean, Oh Gemini, Peace of Plays, Redemption Song by Molly, The Birds, The Little Birds by Molly, Mustard, Ozzy Mustard, Mustard can probably, he has the least out of songs out of everyone here. But yeah, honestly, he can probably do it. He might just get, I'm gonna be honest, even with like, you know, Puck Lot and, you know, Pay for the Mustard City being here, TV Honestly he might just take it just because he did not like us. <laughs> He might just take it. Um, and Daniel Nigro. Catch, can't catch me now from Hunger Games. Chaperone. Oh, he did that. He did like most of them. Okay. Good luck, babe. Chaperone. The album um, that this year is the same name. So American Olivia, Stranger by Olivia. Damn, you have some massive ones under you. Honestly, he can probably take it. Um, so unfortunately, I don't know a lot of people, but I do know some songs. But even out of that. Probably, um, Ian, maybe Ian, maybe Mustard, and maybe Daniel. Mustard might take it out just because of this song, like, alone. <laughs> he has, like, the least amount of songs in here, but he just might take it just for, like, not like us, like, alone. Okay. 
um, some fighter of the year non-classical. Jesse Alexander. I'm just gonna pass through this because it's like a lot of names. I don't even recognize anything that sticks out to me. Amy Allen. She was espresso, okay, you know, please be please. One for the Hills, you know, Tate McRae, you know, massive artist, or massive up and coming artist. Scare of my guitar. It was in Tim Lake, um, Taste, Sabrina Carpenter again, Selfish by Justin, yeah. There's some good hits under you. Edgar Barrera. Oh, is this, is this like a Hispanic artist or something like that? Let's see, like a lot of Spanish. Unfortunately, I don't know like a lot of these, so I can't really speak on you. Jesse Doe Dylan. Okay, go to help us boom. Nice messed up. No, not me, no call ID. Two hearts plus one again. Um, okay. Ray. Oh, so if I can Ray herself, like, you know, in the writing. That's pretty cool, you know? Amazingly, she wins, like, something for, like, you know, one of herself, but, you know, just by being, like, a great, like, songwriter for people. Jennifer Lopez. Haley, Vida Orr. Uh, Ray herself. Ray herself and Hans Zimmer. Lucky Day and Ray. River Dance by Beyonce. She did do that. You know what? Ray might take it. She has a lot of a, she has a lot of power under her. And was a part of like a lot of big hits. Or big songs in general. River Dance by Beyonce is really nice. I forgot she was she was even part of that. It's crazy. Honestly? Yeah, I think I'm gonna go away for that one. Pop and Dance Electronic. Bodyguard by Beyonce. Really, really good song. Bodyguard, it should have been a single, and if and if Beyonce cared enough to drop the visuals, it would have like an amazing music video. <sighs> what could have been? I love my mom though. She's pretty cool. <laughs> bye bye bye, me Beyonce. <laughs> my second mom. Um, Expresso by to be on her massive single. It it might you know actually deserve this you know too. You know it's probably my least favorite out of all these. Apple by Charlie XX, absolutely. Massive, massive. Was a feather okay? And good luck, good luck, babe. Nice. All right. So my picks for these are Bug Got by Beyonce, Apple by Charlie XX, and Good Luck, Babe by Chapeaune. Easily. Best pop duo group performance. Cool. Us, Gravy and Hams, and Tavi and Gra Gracie Abrams or oh, Abrams. I think yeah, Gracie Abrams and featuring Tan Swift. Have heard that song? Levi Jeans by Post Malone and Beyonce. I would love if that one would have won because I do love that song. I really do love that song. Guess, oh my god, guess the address. Oh my god, I love that collaboration. And I love that whole remix album that um, that song was on. Um, For sure. The Boy's Mind by Aaron Grande and Benny Marker. Really good moment. Kind of unfortunate that um, Aaron got like, you know, Kind of swamp under the rug because of how much you know other albums came out this year, and I'm like a lot of people drop like a lot of quality. So like you know she kind of got lost in sauce. She kind of got lost in sauce in that respect, with no like you know album of the year or like you know song of the year or record of the year nominations. But at least she's here, and that is a good song with like two amazing legends, and that was smile. That's crazy with how much um this song was like getting. I would say it is quality. I would say it's good quality, but you know. I still not my favorite even with how much I love you know Gaga. Um But this we have our jeans Guess and I think the boy is mine. Just so like you know Aaron could have like something out of this year. Best pop vocal album. Short and sweet. Give me hard and soft. It's on sunshine. Oh there it goes again. Cool. Chapel Bone and the torture department, you know. Okay. Um it's also so I can probably take it because, you know, Ayana has his vocals. The vocals, even with the album being, like, you know, just okay in a lot of people's eyes and, like, you know, being it, being, and it being swept on the rug, Ayana has the vocal, mind you, pop vocal, vocals, people. Um, I think it does deserve it. Um, because she sounds good to go on the album, on the songs that they hear. Sabrina, nice voice, but, you know, not bad to Ayana. Shopophone. It actually surprises me with her vocals sometimes, I will say. I wouldn't mind it either. And Taylor Swift, again, no. So, honestly, Chaperone or Ariana Grande for me. Best electronic dance recording. 
Interesting. Hi guys, thank you for supporting me and making your way through this video. Oh wait, my book is gone. What, what's happening, huh? Let me see. Wait, what? Are my eyes deceive me? I'm ninety eight percent because they're watching aren't subscribed. What? No way. Watching my video alone is a great support and I appreciate it. Although it's not one hundred percent you know mandatory, I would love if everyone watching would subscribe and hit the notification bell so you guys can follow and get you know the pop up notifications that my videos are now available to you guys to watch. It helps my channel like grow like a lot and get you know out there to more people and love on more loving mages like you yourselves and that potentially want you know join the school and grow up with the class. Interesting. She's gone, dance on the closure, haven't heard it. Love by Four Ted. No, I haven't heard it. Leave me alone by Fredkin and Baby King. I think I might heard this one, but I don't it's not really memorable to me. Oh my god, Justice and Tim Dar. Never said Ah, uh, mm, mm. Really really good. Really really good. And wish if I creature not in Charles Gambino. No. I've heard the song too, it's pretty decent. Honestly, never surrender. Never surrender clears. It might clear this whole I love that song like a lot and I do love me some justice. Even though I am still kinda of salty back, you know, what was it, twenty eighteen and twenty nineteen they won against Sophie on um, every pulls up on insides. Still kinda of, you know salty about that and they did it with like, you know, Basically, like a re release of like you know of an old album, it was, like you know the same songs, but you know it was like a like a live album, I believe too. But um, with that side, it does ever this year for this song. It's pop dance recording, okay. Mickey Mine, Mads and Beer. Mads and Beer, I have heard. She is a a big name, but uh, I haven't heard the songs. I can't say. Bond Dutch by Charlie XCX. Yes, 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 yes. Oh my god, what a perfect single. And it's so crazy because after the album came out, you would think it would be like the 60 as like the lead single. But the fact that she made this the first single is like amazing. Let me explain to you guys. Do you guys ever know like an artist they release like an album? And like there's just one song on the album and it's so good, but you know it's so different from like the rest. And you beg the artist to make it a single, but you but they just never do for some reason. They just never do, you know. How good it is. This is this is what happened with Charlie XX. Not only that she made it a single, she made it the first single. And I am so happy that she chose this one. Um Oh my god. Something in like French. La mort de ma La um La Amour de Marve. Over next and the edit. I don't think I've heard that song. Yes and really cute song. Really good housey vibes, you know. Really good song, I would say. And got me started. Got me started pretty really de decent too. And oh my god, twist of all my god nomination. Is this the first time being nominated? That's pretty crazy. Also, I will say, speaking of Twist of Savannah and like Charlie XX, that tour is amazing, I heard. And I'm so mad that I wasn't able to go to it. Because, you know, I'm broke. But, um, I'm happy that they're both on this. So, my picks are Von Dodge. Maybe, yeah, I, you know what? Yes, and two, I'll pull for it. And got me started by Joseph Vaughn. Best electronic dance album, Brad. Absolutely. For Ted, unfortunately, I, I, you know, don't know them. Hypertron by Justice, I would love that too. Yeah, it is a solid album. Time is Friday, Kitchen Hunter. I need to listen to the full album. I haven't listened to the full thing yet, but the single's so nice. And Tillis by Zed. Did drop something after Zed being after Zed being gone for that long time. He did drop something. I forgot. That's crazy. Wait, give me a second, guys. Hold on. I'm back. Sorry about that. But yeah, Zed did drop that album. I forgot about it. Holy crap. I need to listen to that whole thing again, to be honest, because I think it's like, I, well, I remember, I think it was okay, but like, it wasn't memorable to me. I need to go back and listen to it before I fully speak on that. But, um, out of this brat and, um, hyper drama, easily. Bex remix recording. Alter Eager, Kitchen on remix. Okay. 
a bar song. Tipsy remix, okay. Really, really cool. I haven't really heard the David Guetta remix. Espresso, McClanton, Broken Light remix. Jazz is them. Ep Epic Piano? Epalo? Epa. <laughs> Why well, can't I pronounce that? A my piano. A my piano remix? I think that's how, that's how you say it. I'm sorry if I butchered that. And Von Dutch by AJ Cook remixer. Tally XX featuring Addison Ray. I will say, I do like the song, but I will say, I think on the remix album, they could have been a better choice, you know? Like, I would have put the Billy Eilish remix here. I would have put the Lord, guys, the Lord remix is a cultural reset. Like, that whole, like, the whole story behind that song, like, the OG even happening, and then, like, Lord, like, hearing Charlie, you know, like, you know, saying I feel bad, you know, about, like, you know, the little activity we've been in, like, you know, like, you know, the jealousy and whatnot. And, you know, Lord, like, understanding and, like, you know, hopping on the remix. Like, that was so good. And I love how it sounds. Mind you, with I, not really it, it being, like, different from the original, like, production-wise, but, like, you know, they added Lord Force. Added, like, a lot to the context of that song. But, um, I haven't really listened to, like, a lot of these. I guess by default, the Palm Dutch remix. And maybe Alter Eager featuring... JT and Dolce, because I do know the remix, the Kitchen Run remix, I love it. Best Rock Performance, now they're my Beatles, Have It Listened, Real People, The Black Keys, Have Listened, The Megan Dreams Kill Me, Have Listened, the Gift Horse, Have Listened, Book Man, by St. Vincent, Have Listened, and Dark Matter, by Pro Jam, Have Listened. I don't really have an opinion on this, I'll be honest. That's because there's not like a lot of albums that I like. That, that that are rock based that, that are on here that I like. Maybe St. Vincent because I do kind of like them. I had heard some of them stuff. Yeah, I can't. I don't really have a solid you know, opinion on that. Best metal rock and metal alternative performance. Let's see. Oh, Spirit Box is on here. Interesting. The only thing I know about Spirit Box is that, first of all, they were on. They were featured on the Megan and Stalin, like, you know. Album was it a remix album or like you know, just like one of the, on like her act two album. Either way, I do know about them. But I haven't listened to that song. I know about the character Juice Priest. Don't know who Georgia and Marina Volte, Marina Violte, and Victor Lee. Don't really know much about them. I heard Judas Priest and Knock Loose featuring Poppy. Oh, Poppy! Interesting. Suffocate. I think I might actually heard this by um chance and all by in passing. I do love Poppy. Honestly, just because I know who Poppy is, even though it's not even her song, she's just the feature. I might go suffocate. Best rock song. Yeah, definitely no opinion on this one either. Best rock song, you know. I haven't been listening to any of the songs or whatnot. Best rock, best rock album. Again, no like definitive um, opinion on this one, unfortunately. So I'm just gonna skip over it. I haven't really listened to um, most of these. Like all the rock albums I did listen to, um, are just not like on here, which is really unfortunate. Best alternative music performance. <sighs> and this is another thing I was gonna mention, but I was gonna save it to afterwards. No Magdalena Bay for album of the year. Or alternative stuff, apparently, or whatnot. Like, maybe if I, um, or like even like alternative music album, like, did I hear? Like, really? That's crazy. But yeah, alternative music performance, I can't really speak on really. And alternative music album, I can't really speak on really. I would love to see um, Magnet Bay and these, but they're just not here. I do know who Claire is, and their charm, but like. Yeah, I can't really speak on it. I haven't listened to these or known much about them. On be rapping, spoken with poetry, okay. On before performance, Guns, Jenna Eco, didn't listen. Chris Brown with Sigils, did not listen and would never listen. He deserves nothing. I'm sorry. Um, here we go. Uh, uh oh, by Coco Jones, did not listen. But I didn't know who Coco Jones is. And I'm just been having like a great now year. Made for me, Live on BT, Money Long, and Sound by Scissor. Probably good Scissor. Traditional Army performance, 
wet by Marshall. What's it, Marshall? Amvos? Amvosas? I hope that's how you pronounce it. I'm sorry if I'm butchering so many names. I'm gonna have this group by Kenya Dixon. Online by La Way. Featuring Mitchell McDonald. Make me forget my long. That's you, lucky day. And again, no definitive um, thing for me to grab to, to so I'm gonna skip it. There's Armored Song. After Hours. Burning. Okay, Thames. It's Kalani. Here we go. Uh oh. Kurt Jones. We we running long. Sound scissor. Probably gonna give it to seven. Best progressive one beat album. So glad to know you. Avery Sunshine. And Root. Duran Banara. Bando and the New World. Oh! Interesting. Interesting they actually nominated it for something. That's so crazy. My friend, um, I have food friends who are already into him. Um, I know they're gonna be happy about that. And I did listen to this whole album, by the way. It was really decent. It was really decent. Why Lord by No Worries, is that how you pronounce it? Innocent Pack of Knowledge. Crash by Kalani. I'm probably gonna go with Band of Stone New World with this. Best on beat album. I really do not care. 11 11 Deluxe, don't care. But the back. Halfway, Revenge, Money Long, Algorithm Like a Day, Coming Home, Usher. Did not listen to like a lot of these, especially the Chris Brown one, because I do not care. But, um, happy for them. I don't, I'm not really swinging for anyone in particular again, so I can really go to anything, honestly. Oh yeah, and for the ones that I'm skipping over and like, um, that I don't know much about, let me know you guys' choices in the comments on what do you guys want to see when, you know, in particular. I'm curious. Best Rap Performance. Enough, Miami Cardi B, When the Sun Shines Again, Common, and Peter Rock featuring Pos... Posudonos? Again, if I got that wrong, I'm sorry. Nissan Altima Dolce, nice. Katini Eminem, sure, like that. Probably gonna win, probably gonna win, immediately. By Future Magic Booming, Hedrick Lamar, like that's probably gonna win. Yellow is a banger too, by Glorilla. Once again, another person that was on um, Tati Gare's, um album that was really good. Her voice on Sticky was really nice. The way that she came up was really good. Um, and Not Like Us by Kendrick Lamar, which could definitely win too. So out of this, Not Like Us, Yeah Glow, and Like That are my big ones. And Nissan Ultima, Ultima can probably take it too. But Best Malog Rap Performance, oh my god. I see spaghetti already. I see spaghetti already. I do love that song. Kalani. Featuring, um, oh, self tired, self titled song. That's cool. By Kalani and Jordan, um, AG Turnji, I believe. Um, Spaghetti by Beyonce is the one I'm putting for. We still don't trust you. Featuring Magic Moon, featuring The Weekend. Don't think I heard that song for that album. Big Mama, featuring Lada, I think I have come across that song. And three, with Rhapsody and Erica Badu. Um, Spaghetti for me. Sp spaghetti for me. Best rap song. Asteroids by Marlena Evans, song I have to featuring Hit Boy. Um, Carnival. Oh, goodness. You know, even though it's so outplayed, you know what I will say about Carnival? I can't deny the energy and, like, you know, like the burst of energy it just gives you, you know, like, well, like the chanting and whatnot. So I kind of understand it in that aspect, but, like, I don't know. Like that. Amazing, I uh, like that the win. I like us. I would like that the win. Yellow, really nice. Okay, so out this easy. Yellow, not like us, like that. <sighs> I can see why some people would like Convo and why it's nominated, but it's not my first choice. And then Asteroids, I really don't have an opinion about. So yeah, that's yeah. Not like us is probably gonna sweep so many of these. By the way, it's gonna be insane. Best rap album, might delete later. J Cole, probably not. The Auditorium Volume 1, did not listen. I'll get, I'll get by it's never heal. I will lose my mind if Dolce wins this. Um, a lot of weird people might be angry at that, but it was a really good album. Eminem, Deficit Lady, absolutely not. We don't trust you, Future Magic Moon. can probably take it too. It actually might win this, actually. Okay, so out of all these, We Don't Trust You and I'll Get Bites. Those are the two best ones. Eminem, that album was not... It's not good.
Best fucking poetry. I can skip over this. Jazz performance. Okay, so we're gonna get into like the ones that probably from now on, from here on out, is the ones that um, are not like super main categories, who are like you know small categories. Um, like I said, I'm not gonna read all of these because there's so much. But um, if there are any of note, I will probably um or anything of note, I'll probably talk about it. Jazz vocal album. So um, Jenny's in Black, Chris Dude, Dash Hill, Kurt Ailing and Sylvan Foster, Wildflowers Volume One, or oh, in a Joe for Holiday, Best of Joy. I have not listened, but her winning Best New Artist, what was it, one or two years ago, made me so happy. I don't even know she, who she was, but like, I was so happy for her. And I probably should, like, you know, actually listen to her music because she just seemed like a genuinely nice person. Moten plus Exper Esperanza. And my ideal. Okay. Um, don't really listen to uh, most of these or like jazz like that, but if Samuel Joy takes it, I wouldn't be, um, I'd be happy for her again. <laughs> I'll say that, and I haven't even listened to it. Best alternative jazz album, Night Vang. Oh, New Blue Sun's here. Cool, cool, cool. Give it to Andre. Give it to Andre. Like I said, it is good, and like I said, I did defend it when it came out against, you know, the world rap bands, you know, of his. I kind of like, you know, all like turned on him. Like, don't get me wrong, I want a rap album too. But, like, you know, respect boundaries, respect that he does not have him right now, and Clay still wants to make one, but it's not ready for one right now. Um, album of the year for him, like I said um, earlier, definitely not. But for this category, for best jazz alternative jazz album, yes, I can see that. Because it is, because it's really fluid and very jazzy, so I can, it passes. Like, it passes. Best country solo performance, here we go. So this is by Beyonce, absolutely. Um, I'm not okay, J. Bull. The Architects, uh, Case of Musgraves, you know who you, a Tipsy Bar song, could win it too, and it takes a woman, Chris Tipleton. Okay, so, Beyonce, Six and Characters, and a bar song by Tabuzi, easily. The rest, I have heard of, or I just, you know, haven't heard the song or album, um, yeah, that's all I really have to say about that, um, I haven't really, and I should, you know, listen to more country, but, um, these are the two that, um, clearly that stuck out to me, and that deserve it. Best Country Duo Group Performance, Cowboys Card 2, Most Wanted with the two, Big Mine, Big Houses, and I had some help with Buff Lone and that Morgan Wallen guy. Clearly out of this, Most Wanted, the vocals, the message of the song, the chemistry of- Oh my goodness. So good. So good. Best Country Song. Okay. So out of these already, an art techno, Bartis Bart song. Yes, I'm not carry no, has some help no, and Texas Hold'em. So yeah, Texas Hold'em or again a ball song but by um Sabrizi. Yeah, these are the two I'm looking for. Best country album, Capri Carter. Yes, easily, easily, easily. Hiver have not heard. Warring have not heard. Evil Will have not heard. And F1 Train have not heard. This clearly, and you know, Post Malone was really good on the um. Was it Levi Jeans that they were both on together with him and Beyonce? That was a really good song. Um, I probably should at least like attempt to like listen to this, you know? You know, I'm not a huge fan of him, but um, I, I, I didn't like him on that song. Maybe I should. But um, Kyrie Carter, easily, especially for what event presents, especially of what went on with like the election and, and like, you know, what and however it super is now, especially with that mess going on, and um, what it means for country. The whole, like, rec reclaiming the whole, like, genre. So, yes. Yes, easily. No. Best of my con performance. Yeah, yeah, by Beyonce. Absolutely. Subtitles. Madison. Ch Cunningham. Don't know. Don't do me good. Eric Dreaming. Runaway Train. Empty. Train Load of Sky. Yeah, yeah, by Beyonce. Easily. Best music car or brand album. It's so crazy. How anything that's not white, they throw like urban in it. I that's like, and I got rid of it for like, you know, but the black people, you know, like complain about it with like me included, by the way. But they still do it for like the um, Hispanic people. That's like I get insane. Like, literally, anything that's not white, you just guys just throw urban at it. That's so annoying. But, um, anyways, the bad, but an album which I would not attempt to pronounce. I'm sorry, just in fear of like, you know, pushing it. 
Um, Vayo, Baji Balam. Balakalypse? Thy bed? A field? Last. I'm not gonna attempt it. By Residente and Yomiko. I do know who Yomiko is by ATT. Um, Bad Bunny, sure. Because I think I do listen to the album with my friend Dax, I believe. I think we did listen to it together. Or oh, at least most of it. Was Best soundtrack for visual media. I'm just curious about this one. Color Purple, very ours. Tipper Wolverine, good movie. And a good soundtrack, honestly. Uh, Mash Show. Then I've been listening to this and watched the movie. Soft Run, okay. And then Twisters, the album. Funny. Um, very Tipper Wolverine, to be honest. Or Color Purple, because, like, you know, the whole thing is, is it's just, you know, like music, because I wasn't like, a musical. Probably those two, why not? Best score soundtrack for visual media includes Film and Television, um, American Fiction, Challengers, The Cup Purple, Doom Part 2, and Shogun. Probably Shogun, because I did, you know, I didn't watch the show. Um, the music I did here, like in the trailers and whatnot, was pretty good. Really traditional, like, you know, Japanese. It was really great. Doom Part 2, Hans Zimmer, he did an amazing job on that soundtrack. The Cup Purple, again, I could see, because, like, you know, that's the whole thing of the movie, the music. Challengers, I actually did not. Listen to the music. I've seen this um, movie yet, surprisingly enough, but I did hear it's really good. Um, and then American Fiction I didn't see. So yeah, probably The Clip Purple and Doom Part 2. And maybe Shogun. Best score soundtrack for video games and other interactive media. Outro Upon 2 is Mandela, okay. God of War, Ragnarok, Vandala. Marvel's Spider-Man 2. So was Outlaws and Visually Proof Grounds of Mad Overlord. Oh, you know that game. Soundtrack? Maybe God of War, honestly. God of War, maybe Avatar, maybe Spider-Man. Best music video, Taylor Swift, yes, I okay. That was a good music video, actually. That actually was really good. I like how that was ready. 360, definitely. A Dooney, I guess it was somewhat interesting. And I don't care for the song. Not Like Us, of course, in Fortnite. <sighs> it, wa it was a really interesting music video with the black and white and, like, you know, the cool editing and, like, costumes. I will I will give it that. I will give it that. Um, 360, yes. Not like us, yes. Oh yeah, also maybe Tell Swift too, because that was gonna be his video and you know, Tell Swift herself for Fortnite. I can see. I I'll give it that, I'll give it that. Best pack best, best recording packaging. Out of all these, but like You can't look at you can't guys, you can't look at like green like ever again without even thinking about it. Like, it owned a color and it's such a simple font. Like, it's so crazy. And it was everywhere. It was everywhere. Even with how simple it was. And so poetic, by the way. Considering how um, many people gave um, Charlie um, bad um, stuff about, like, you know, her speaking out about how people are talking about, like, you know, female album covers. And it went for her album cover and, like, other album covers that were not even that bad in that post, by the way. And you guys are down like no, like this is bad. Jokes on you. It's probably one of the biggest like reasons why also people can recognize the album into the future and now and like it was so good. So Brad, Brad again. That'd be so great. And also I haven't really seen these other album covers or packagings either. You know, album non classical. The only thing I recognize from this really is Empathogen by Willow, and I did listen to the, the album, and it was really nice, so I want her to take it. Which, I am happy that it could skin something, but, um, in the upcoming years, when, like, Willow's making music, please do the, um, main categories for her. She is amazing, and she deserves it, that's all. That's it. That is it. And, you know, so on tweet, you know, and whatnot, and I.O. But, yeah, like, definitely impassioned, for sure. Best arrangement instruments and vocals. Ahama, always back. Big feelings. Um, that surprise by Persona 5. What the heck? How old is that? That's so crazy. I mean, okay. I'm actually surprised I won um because when the this is here, I wonder I'm actually surprised that uh that one um was a metaphor song, you know, that came metaphor from you no know, same people who made Persona. I wonder why that's not here. With the guy like, you know, it almost sounds like he's like rapping and stuff and the instruments and him his vocals are crazy. But um yeah, big feelings, because you know, another blur, you know, another acknowledgement. Or, you know, I guess just because I love the game so much, you know, I haven't heard the song Persona 5. Um, not surprised. Okay, guys, so I think that's everything I really, um, that stuck out to me anyways, that I really um, care about. Um, yeah, tell me what you guys thought about the categories, um, artist snubs. Um, for me, the big one is really, the big snub really is just Magdalene Bay. 
um, imaginal disc. That's just a huge one, obviously. Like these should have like if not the big categories, which I don't know the year it was gonna be a stretch. I'm so sad. It was gonna be a stretch because you know they're small and like they just getting started. But for all like the praise and stuff they've been getting this year, like they should have cut come on like a nomination at least one. And if not the big categories, like obviously you guys, the smaller categories, like not even the small like not even the smaller categories they didn't get anything. That's insane. That album is so good. And you know, Chroma Copia by Tyler Creator Mother, I'm not liked a lot this year. That just makes sense just because um it's too recent. It's probably gonna be nominated for next year, if anything, for things. But um yeah, that's just my snubs and like, you know, what I wish I wanted to see really just that one album by um Magdalena Bay. But besides that, um I'm pretty happy so far. I want, you know, Brett and Cabo Carter to win all its albums that um they are nominated for. Those are my other two albums I really liked a lot this year. And, um, yeah, tell me what you guys think. Honestly, um, what are your snubs? What did you like? What did you did not like? Um, who are you putting for for album of the year? Let me know in the other categories also. Um, thank you so much for, um, stick with me throughout this whole video. Um, I definitely had to edit it down because, um, like I said, there's a lot of categories and it would be too long for me to go over it. So I definitely had to edit it, edit it down. But, um, yeah, I'm going to see y'all later. And, um, until next time, bye.